I want to demonstrate kickback points a little more in real world scenario. Hopefully you can see this. This is your bad point right here. This is okay, you can cut in, but you have to be forcing down to get your bar buried. I'll demonstrate. It wants to walk. Angle your tip down. You can get it in there. So there's a fine point, but you have to maintain a certain position as you're entering, or otherwise it'll want to jump back out. See, there's finesse to it. You can use the kickback zone. You just have to know how. I'll demonstrate a safe plunge cut using the kickback point. to maintain a certain pressure to it. If you get it to that bad spot and not deep enough wood, it's going to walk out. Demonstrate. Basically, this part right out here is going to want to walk no matter how you're doing it. You have to get it up in here to get it to bury in. Those were top bar demonstrations to get into the wood. I'm going to show bottom bar demonstrations. much easier because the chain is pulling it's pulling into the wood when you're using the top bar it's trying to push itself out but if you use the bottom corner it's wanting to pull itself in there's a real fine line there see top bar wants to bounce out bottom bar, even close to the kickback zone, it goes right in. <laughs>